Hello guys, welcome to my video series tutorial to talk about Microsoft Azure OpenAI service using in Bot Composer application. In my last video, I explained about how to implement Prompt Completion API. This video, I'm going to focus on our next API called Prompt Chat Completion API. If you want to communicate to GPT-4 model, you have to use this API. The parameter almost is same, only the difference you can see the chat messages. In Prompt Completion API, we can directly provide the prompt or prompt we can send like this. But in Prompt Chat Completion API, you have to send the prompt like this format. You have to set the center user what the prompt next the role of assistant then what is the replay like this and you have to specify the system role, role also let's start how to implement this feature in bot composer application i have created a new project called open prompt the next step open this project in visual studio go to the properties general target framework you have to change to 7.0 save next go to pod composer go to package manager you have to select the NuGet and search Azure you can find the package Azure AI community open AI bot builder prompt you have to install this package you can see the project readme also how to implement this package okay next go to the project select unknown intent click add in the menu you can see the new menu added azure open ai this menu coming from our package which we installed just now there you have to select the prompt chat completion we have to fill all the required information so our endpoint api key deployment name finally prompt configuration this endpoint and the, and the key you can find in in your azure key go to browser this is my azure open a resource key you can find key and endpoint the key is available here and the endpoint available here i just copy the endpoint paste it here endpoint the next api key that also i copied you can add it here this is my api key deployment or model name you can find in azure AI studio once you created the deployment you can find the deployment name here so i'm going to use this is my deployment name gpt35 model so i copy update here the next we have to provide the prompt configuration for that i'm going to create a new property go to manage property set a property dialog dot prompt value let it we fill little later first we will fill all the record information so dollar sign here we have to pass we have to print the result also so I'm going to add one response here, send a response. The result available in turn.openai. This property, our, our result is available. Just copy here this one and paste it. So the setup, it's ready. The next step, we have to fill this property, dialog.prompt. For that, I'm going to add one new property, set property, this property called dialog dot prompt config all the config related parameters i'm going to add it here the config related parameter this one except our chat messages this i'm going to add into different property the rest of the properties i'm going to assign into this dialog dot prompt config so copy paste this one accept chat uh, messages accept chat messages all other property i added here this all property is optional if you don't want to use it you can just ignore this property settings 
if you want to use the property parameter you have to use so this one based on your application or requirement needs the next time i'm going to add one more property go to manage property set a property and this property called dot chat message so here i have to pass this chat message information this information i'm going to fill it go to here paste it that's it these two property dialog.prompt config and dialog.chat messages i am going to add into this final property dialog.prompt because this property we pass to this prompt prompt chat completion api to merge this one use write an expression merge json i'm going to merge these two json so that's the reason i'm using this merge api function JSON first property called dialog dot prompt config second JSON dialog dot chat messages chat messages close then our function is ready our property is ready so we match these two properties into dialog.prompt this dialog.prompt we passed into the prompt chat completion and successful of communication we get the result in the turn.openai we'll test it register the bot open web chat register the conversation welcome to your bot or welcome message we implemented in unknown intent so whatever we message sent that is received in unknown intent and process our our prompt chat completion api listen message hello after successful communication to azure open ai service we get the result we just print it the you can see the is success true that means our communication is success otherwise you get false and the error information added here this is success so the result property contain the result when is created and choices our response available this messages choices messages content you can see this message available in this property we'll see how to print it and rest of other information to print this information content you have to use then open a result value choices is an array of values so we have to use choices zero index message dot content like that if you provide we get the result uh, i'm going to add a send a response response send so i print the final result to read the message from this content property register the bot open web chat register the conversation hi the first result use the property turn dot open ai the second result you can see we read it from this property here the content so it's a print the result this is a way we have implement prompt chart completion api